All right. Welcome back to Shaving with Fuzzy. I'm Fuzzy. Hi, y'all. On Sunday, and not only is it Sunday, but it is the first Sunday of the month, and as Dave in Kentucky pointed out, because he already posted a video of the Toast 3, that's T-O-S-T -S and the number three is the YouTube channel, and you put .com on the end of it, and you get the forum. And as he pointed out, this is the first Sunday, and the first Sunday we do Lather Catcher Sunday at Toast 3. So uh, I'm going to use the 1910 Jim Jr., and for no particular reason other than I have it out already, and uh, it's one of my favorites. It's one of the first lather catchers I had. I think it is the first lather catcher I had. Uh, Dave Irving gave it to me like many moons ago. And as you can see, it is definitely a user's grade. Got a two-use blade. I think this is actually a stainless blade this time, which is a little weird because normally I use uh, carbon steel. But uh, with the move and everything, things are kind of still upside down. And uh, just the way it goes. Got some good old dark roast Roush's store brand coffee. So for a soap today, I was digging around and realized I haven't had a rose shave in a while. So we're going to do some rose. And one of my favorite rose soaps, I don't know. I have a lot of favorite rose soaps. <laughs> what can I say? Anyway, uh, Soap Commander, love it's called. And it always works really well. Uh, this is the vegan edition. It's not a tallow soap. Uh, I generally like tallow soaps better. Everybody knows that. But this one is actually a very nice base. Does a very good job. I'm going to use a little generic bore brush. Uh, nothing fancy, just a little unbranded generic brush. I used to call that thing the lather monster because even as small as that brush is, it can whip up some lather. Let me tell you about it. And to finish everything off today, I've got just a little bit of the uh, Pinault Special Reserve, which is of course what we call the Indiana Jones of uh, aftershaves. Got a little bit of that left that uh, needs to get used up. It was uh, one time this would travel with me and that kind of stuff. So anyway, I need to finish that up. Actually, I need a new bottle of that, so I need to, that's one I need to replace. So we'll get around to that one of these days. No guarantees as the win. So anyway, so uh, the uh, saying that I stole the other day to give proper proper credit, because I did say I didn't remember who had said it, that uh, your technique may vary, was a Randy shave. So I went over there and subscribed. Check out his site. He's no geezer, even older than me. and uh, But we agree on a lot of things. He pointed that out, and he's right. There's a lot of things that we uh, we agree on. I'm never going to agree with everything anybody says, and definitely everybody's not going to agree with everything I say. But, uh, you know, you get a good little balance going there. And if everybody's thinking the same, somebody's not thinking, right? Now, just because, uh, you know, generally if someone's not thinking my way, they're thinking what I like to call wrong. But, you know, at least they're thinking. So anyway, here we go. It was a little bit, uh, took Luna and hash brown out a little while ago hash brown is double o bevins gold and it was just starting to sprinkle a little bit really humid outside typical june weather humid got some clouds around so it could rain pretty much any time and it was just sprinkling a little bit and really humid gotta love louisiana in summertime i'm telling you all right we'll leave that little brush i'm telling you what there ain't nothing wrong with a little four brush this brush should not have actually fallen out of it before and I glued it back in. It's just a cheap, generic. I've seen some that look like this that were at a Turner brand, but this one, I don't think it, uh, I, I did get it new from somewhere. I don't remember where now, but uh, always been a really, really good lathering little brush. Loves wins. This thing will do the job on wins now. I've used it on Marvies. I don't know if I've used it on Scoutmaster, but it don't really matter what you use on those soaps. It's uh, gonna be a battle. But anyway, today is the love. Now this is a really nice scent, a really nice clean rose scent. Uh, I've got some roses that have a more synthetic scent that I'm not as big a fan of, but it's still rose. And I do love my rose shaving stuff. Uh, rose is kind of a classic to me. Uh, scent. The first rose I remember using was uh, Tobes, Taylor Robine Street rose. I've still got some of it. And uh, since then, I picked up some other stuff. But this uh, Soap Commander, it's a good vegan base, as you can see. You got a good lather out of it. It's a good scent. Doesn't irritate my skin or anything. Of course, I don't remember ever shaving with a soap that uh, I got a reaction to. I pretty much got cast iron 
cast iron skin, I guess. I'm okay with that. I'm not complaining about that. All right. Now the 1910, it is considered a milder feeling razor. And even though it is still a very, very efficient razor, I always love the Jim Jr. bars there. Now, if you happen to find a Jim Jr. bar that the bar is busted off of, you can still use it. The, uh, the long as the blade stops up front are good. The, the back uh, little lid that you flip up to hold the blade, if it holds it tight against the blade stops, it'll shave just fine. Um, so you can still have it even without the bar. But I like the bar on there. I think it looks cool. It's how it was originally designed. And even if it's not really a, I don't know, a needed thing, it's still really cool because that's how they built it. So there we go. This one's got the longer handle on it. There are some that got the little short stubby wooden handle. No difference in how they shape. No difference at all. All right. They do a very good job, by the way, trimming up around the good too. Most razors do that. It's not usually a big problem. Anyway, Sunday night. Been in the weekend. Haven't been too bad a weekend. A uh, few work issues, but uh, overall, it hadn't been that bad. I had cooked some uh, pork steak yesterday. I think it was pork sirloin. What is that, where they cut the back? Was it the sirloin, the back? Like, I don't know. Anyway, they had uh, pork sirloin steaks on for uh, 88 cents a pound at the, the local store the other day, and I bought a couple of packs, so... I cooked them up a couple of different ways. I did one, I barbecued it in the oven, and uh, I like cumin. So I put some ground cumin on along with some uh, garlic powder, and then I put the uh, barbecue sauce over that. Now I don't use fancy barbecue sauce. This was just the uh, Hunt's or Heinz, whatever, this, this little you know dollar something, a bottle of stuff. But uh, I think it came out real good, and I like the cumin. It makes a really good smoky flavor in with the barbecue. I got introduced to cumin in Tucson when I lived out there. My boss's mom, every time there was any kind of a shindig or a get together, and I was out there over four years, and I uh, got to be friends with them, and they would invite me over for stuff. So I got to eat some of the mom's cooking. Now Mark's grilling was outstanding, and uh, Sue, that was his wife, uh, her cooking was great. Never had any issues, but the mom would come in and she had this pasta dish with tuna and it was kind of like a tuna salad with pasta but she would put the cumin on top of it man that just blew me away first time i had it i didn't know anything about cumin and i got to where a lot of times when i cook stuff i add some cumin in and i still do but anyway that was lunch that was some uh corn and green uh mustard greens actually uh, <laughs> that ain't a some country sound in lunch. I don't know what it is. But anyway, got that out of the way. Oh, boy. Nice shave. Comfortable, quick on a Sunday. Not a lot going on. What more can you ask for, eh? What more can you ask for? I forgot to put the hand towel out over here. Not my fault. Prop boy has the day off. And uh, so I have a towel hanging over here and I'll just dry off that before I, yeah, I guess I don't really need to wipe my face off and dry it off before I put the witch hazel on, but I like to do that. I don't want to water the witch hazel down. So that sound is the company phone. It goes a lot. The day crew is winding their day up, but there's always problems that need solving. Last I looked, they were trying to cover a call out for tonight. Maybe I won't have to go. Maybe I won't have to go cover it. Maybe I can find someone to go in. We'll see. That's the drawback, or I don't know if it's a downside, but that's part of the supervisor job here is that if you have someone that, that calls out 
and you can't find someone to go cover their shift, tag, you're it. So it can happen. I, I spent a few hours over the weekend here, four hours here, two or three hours there, covering a few spots till we could get them covered. And sometimes you don't get them covered. Sometimes you cover the whole thing. So I did some of that last week too. All right, so the Indiana Jones of aftershave. Why do we say that? Well, if you've never used Pedal's Special Reserve, let me tell you why we call it the Indiana Jones. Because with this stuff, you can smell the leather, you can smell the oil, the diesel, all the old airplanes he used to fly in, and the motorcycles, and all the old cars. It's all kind of mixed together and stuck in a bottle. And to me, that's what Special Reserve smells like. It's very, very, very nice. A little bit stronger than a lot of the other Pinots, but uh, it's the same way. It'll die, dry down and be good to go and everything will be great. Look how many ladder was still left in that little old brush. Don't don't be uh don't be putting down the small bores. Jeez. Call them bacon bits if you want to. The small bore brushes. Don't be putting them down. They do a good job. Well that's gonna do it for today. Just a laid back day. Hey I see Ordinary Shaver posted a video. I haven't had a chance to watch it yet. But I see he posted a video. Thanks everybody for the birthday wishes. Uh, made it through another one and uh, here we go again. But I uh, appreciate it. Uh, check out Ordinary Shavers. Uh, he does some nice shaves. Good to see him back. And check out Toast 3 if you like these old single edge and injector raiders. T-O-S-T, -T, the number 3.com. Y'all have a good one. Whoever you are, wherever you are, whatever you're doing, happy shades to you.